members of city council. Today, I have the great privilege of honoring a great person, my friend, Nadine Smith. Now, if I was to recap all of Nadine's accomplishments, all that makes her worthy of a key to the city, we would need to schedule a separate committee of the whole. So I'll use my few minutes here wisely. I want to begin by highlighting not her professional accomplishments, but my favorite thing about her. She's a resident of the Sunshine City. <laughs> She's the executive director of Equality Florida, and she lives right here. And that alone makes us a better city. We are so glad to have Nadine, Andrea, and Logan in our community. Now, Nadine was a journalist, and then, of course, an organizer, spending the past 30 years fighting for a fair Florida, getting good legislation passed at the low level and state level, and stopping really bad ideas and bills from becoming law, as best as anyone can, given the politics in the state. Nadine was the first openly lesbian African-American to run for city council in Tampa. She was one of the leaders in the 1993 March on Washington and a part of a historic meeting between President Clinton and LGBTQ leaders. She became a trustee with the Florida Chamber Foundation and has worked to make the private sector better, more diverse, more welcoming. She has been named one of Florida's most powerful and influential women, has received the League of Women Voters Distinction Award, and has served on the Florida Advisory Committee for the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights. Like a good organizer, Nadine can constructively agitate with the best of them. I'll say something that isn't often said in this chamber. Nadine is a badass. <laughs> <laughs> but make no mistake, she is a thoughtful, deliberate leader. She knows how to build relationships and get things done, and she's done it time and again. And she's a uniter. Nadine and Andrea have brought our community together during times of national and local crisis. And her work is not done, but as my time as mayor comes to an end, I couldn't leave without properly honoring this amazing woman and paying tribute to her work on LGBTQ issues and on so many other things. And so Nadine, it is my honor to be here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yay! All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. I, I really I appreciate this so much, uh, Mayor, uh, council members, and to my family uh, by birth and by marriage and my family by choice and through the struggle. It is so good to see your faces in 3D and not on a Zoom. I, um, when, when the news uh, came out that I was getting a key to the city, people asked me, uh, so what, what do you get to open? You know, do, you, do you keep this in the car and flash it if you get pulled over? And I'll let you know if it works. But, but I will say that I, I can't think of a better symbol, a more meaningful symbol to me than uh, a key. You know, when you give somebody a key to your home, you, you're really telling them they belong. You're really telling them that they're welcome. And, and uh, you know, growing up in Florida uh, has not always been a welcoming place for um, a black child, a, a female child, a, a gay child. And, and St. Petersburg hasn't always been that welcoming place. It has been a, a place that we have had to, to work really hard to carve a, a space of welcome. And so, um, just building on the theme from uh, our sister city, I think it's important that we judge ourselves by how much we make the stranger feel welcome. And we're all strangers at some point, whether it's a, a new school or a, a retirement home, a new job, a new city, and how we are welcomed matters. And so every time I look at this, I will remember the journey that we have taken as a city to become an open and welcoming place for all, and to put those values up front. I will remember that at a time of great division where we're told to be fearful of those who are different, who 
pray differently, who think differently, who look differently, who come from different lands with different languages, it's important that we extend the spirit of handing that key to a stranger and welcoming them. And at a time when our state legislature ought to be looking to our cities to replicate that spirit of inclusion, I hope that all of us uh, understand our obligation to, to open that key and hold it out to those who, who can easily be fearful of that new place. So I'm proud to be a Floridian. I'm proud to be part of St. Petersburg. And I am very, very proud of my Equality in Florida family. I'm very, very proud of my family, including the patriarch of our family, my father, who did not hesitate to ask the mayor to move out of the way so we could see the video. <laughs> I come by my activism honestly. But, uh, but I thank you all. And uh, I look forward to continuing to earn this. Thank you. Nate, 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 congratulations. If you can just uh, stand there by the podium for a second. So we'll go first to Council Member Rice. Thank you. Um, Nadine, you're an inspiration and a role model to so many, and I've had many experiences with you over the last 20 years as an organizer and as an elected official. And one of the things I love about you is that you're such an inspiration to people who, uh, when they see an injustice, they learn from you and they go and start an organization to fix it. Um, you've built an organization that will carry the torch for equality and progress uh, long after you're gone, and that's not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> what have you heard? Uh, but I think that's the greatest accomplishment um, for an organizer, and you've achieved that and, and so much more. And just your guidance, encouragement, and vision, it's just it's legendary. And like the mayor said, we're so lucky to have you here in St. Pete. You could not only just be anywhere in Florida, you could you're a national leader. You could be anywhere you want to be to continue doing your beautiful work to shine a light in this world. And I'm proud to count you as a friend. Your wife, Andrea, is a force in our community in her own right, making it a better place. And uh, as for Mr. Logan, I will not be surprised at all to see him doing great things. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Deputy Mayor Tom. Thank you. I can't miss this opportunity to echo my thanks and gratitude as well for your steadfast example and uh, the way you epitomize intersectional advocacy and activism. You're such a wonderful example for so many people. And uh, you've been named as one of Florida's most powerful and influential women, which is a great honor. But what is that honor um, unless you are doing something with that power and that influence to help others? And you do so every day in transformational ways. And our community will forever be grateful. I feel like the mayor awarded a key to everyone who wonders what's possible uh, in the shaping of our collective consciousness today. And you answer that in a resounding way. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you. Council Member Black. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, you know, I'm going to be brief. I don't want to congratulate you all and say thank you for all that you've done for our community and for the state. You really have a heart. I push the needle. Um, thank you for making St. Pete what it is today. It's because of people like you that the city become better for your vision. Um, you know, you got the key to the city, uh, and the door's open. You know, we want everybody to feel comfortable here. And I'm just so thankful for your work over the years. Uh, maybe you get a price when you can pick some good people recently. So, uh, thanks a lot. Thank, thank you. Very much. Appreciate that. Nadine, I want to congratulate you on, on receiving a key to the city. It's, it's the highest honor that uh, we can give out. And uh, you've been a, you use the, uh, the word light. You provide light to people's lives. You're very eloquent, too. Thank you. You're very, you're very good. You choose your words carefully. And you represent the city of St. Petersburg very well. And you make, make us a better place. Congratulations. All right. Can I sit down? Yeah. <laughs>